it is Eva here. Welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, welcome. I really hope you decide to stick around and subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to be debunking another nutrition myth. So this is an ongoing series on my channel anytime I come across a nutrition myth that's really, you know, tickling some nerves. Um, I like to debunk it. And if you weren't aware, I do have a diploma in nutrition as well. So I feel like I'm able to give you the information and the facts just with that background in mind as well. If you want to trust someone, I really hope that you can trust me with your nutrition um, tips and all that jazz. This is going to be nutrition myth number six. So let's get right into it. Today's nutrition myth I'm going to be debunking is eating after a certain time. So a lot of people like to put on like that 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. mark means you are going to gain weight. <sighs> yeah, so that's what I'm going to be talking about. So have you heard in your time that eating after a certain time, so like I said, 6 p.m., 7 p.m. will automatically mean you'll gain weight? I have certainly heard that many, many times over the years growing up, which is really a shame because as a teenager, that's where I feel like you're the most, most vulnerable and I feel like those other times in your life where you really start to see a lot of diet trends and people making comments and etc. So what a load of shit that was to hear, or I guess it still is to hear because it is 2024 and people are still after a quick fix when it comes to wanting to lose weight or um, achieve a certain goal. People would rather click into the clickbait of how to lose weight in two weeks rather than clicking on something like how to lose weight in a sustainable and healthy way. One promises a quick fix and the other one tells you that it's actually going to take a little bit longer to reach those goals, but it is much better for you. Your health isn't a quick fix and short-term problems can actually lead to long-term health effects. Becoming the best version of yourself and reaching those goals that you have created for yourself take time. That time that it's going to take is going to pass by anyways. So if it takes one to two years to reach that, why does it matter? Because as I said, that time is going to pass by regardless. You want to put habits into place that are going to last longer than two weeks. Diet trends like to put clock on things for weight loss and Apparently, eating or after a certain time is a no-go if you want to look like the models that you see on Instagram who actually edit themselves anyways. Studies find that it doesn't actually matter what time you eat when it comes to weight loss. A study done by AHA Journals back in 2023 had 547 participants to determine if the time that they were eating actually had a factor in if they were losing or gaining weight. The participants tracked their foods for six months and that included what time they ate, the portion size, and how frequent they ate meals. The study found between the first and last meal didn't actually affect the participants' weight at all, but the frequency is what impacted. Those who were consuming more food were more likely to gain weight, and those who were consuming less were more likely to lose weight. The implication was the frequency rather than the timing of the meals. Now let's cover some basics. So the study said that those who were consuming meals more frequently were the ones that were more likely to gain weight. And this is because it put the participant in a calorie surplus. This means that the participant was consuming more calories than what they were burning off, meaning they are going to gain weight. If you want to lose weight, it is scientifically proven that you need to be in a calorie deficit. But as I mentioned, the calorie surplus is going to make you gain weight. So the calorie deficit is going to help you lose weight. So this means that you need to burn more energy than you are consuming. But do not take this as a sign to go run a 10K just because you ate a donut. There are healthy and sustainable ways to be in a calorie deficit without becoming obsessed with the tracking and without malnourishing your body. So you still need to make sure that you are consuming the foods that you want and that you need. Of course, exercise does help putting you into a calorie deficit, but your exercise and movement should not be a form of punishment and, sh and it should be a form of enjoyment. If you do put a clock and a time frame on your meals, you probably will lose weight 
very quickly, very fast. And that is because, again, you're putting yourself into a calorie deficit. But a lot of people don't like to see it that way. And this type of dieting is called intermittent fasting. So that means I'm only allowed to eat between 11 and 7. And all of my meals need to fit into that. And... If it's now 7.03, tough luck, I now got to wait till the next day. So as you can see, that's not really a nice habit to put into place. And it's not a really, and it's not a diet that you really can sustain long term. The only diet that you should be sticking to is one that contains your carbs, fats and proteins. So your three major macronutrients, as well as your micronutrients such as fiber. So you can put yourself into a calorie deficit and lose that weight that you are wanting without the restrictions. You are allowed to eat after 7 p.m. If your meals are balanced and nutritionally dense and spread out throughout the day, you are going to be able to hit your goals. You can reach your goals, but don't put a timer on it. Don't put an end date to it. And you don't have to wait for a special occasion to start the journey. Because as I said at the beginning of this video, that time is going to pass regardless. So just start today, start tomorrow. You don't have to wait for a new beginning to start your journey. Your body does so, so much for you. So I really hope that you are taking care of it. So these videos are really nice, short and sweet because I don't want to overload your information. I just want to make sure that I'm giving you the basic info that you want and you can definitely do further research and um, the resources that I use for this video, I will link in the description box below. So to conclude, eating after a certain time does not mean you are going to gain weight. If you are eating in a calorie surplus, that is what's going to make you gain weight. And if you are in a calorie deficit, that's going to help you lose the weight. Okay, so I was just getting ready to make lunch, which I have here, and I thought I would show you what I mean by nutrient-dense meal that is high in volume. So these type of meals are what's going to help you keep you fuller for longer, and that way you aren't snacking unnecessarily throughout the day. Um, so yeah, this is just what I wanted to show you. So this is my plant-based um, burrito bowl. So for my carbs, I have rice for my protein i have tofu and for my healthy fats i have a dollop of avocado on top and i also have some extra goodies in here so i did lay on the bottom some spinach so vegetables are a source of carbohydrate as well and having greens in your diet is very important and then i also have some Mexican beans, so I have some kidney beans and some black beans because having beans in your diet is also really great. So there's other food groups. So you do have the three major macronutrients and then you also have the five food groups as well. So yeah, this is what I'm having for lunch. I did run out of salsa, which is really annoying. So this is gonna be a little bit dry, dry for my liking because that salsa makes it nice and uh, moist. But yeah, so if you... As someone who doesn't really like to cook, it doesn't really have to be hard at all. Just making, just making your meals, just having my, what do I want as my protein? What do I want as my carbohydrate? And what do I want as my healthy fat? And as soon as you have those three, you can really build from there because making meals does not have to be difficult at all. So yeah, bon appetit or bon appetit. Definitely needs that salsa. So yeah, my friends, please make sure that you are not restricting yourselves and I really hope that you can gain a really great relationship with your food and just remember that the best diet to follow are the ones that really push out that there shouldn't be a restriction and as I mentioned, they have those three major macronutrients and your micronutrients because we want to make sure that we are nourishing our bodies. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, please make sure you give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll also pop my Instagram and TikTok handles here if you want to follow me on those platforms. And I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are. And just remember that one bad day isn't a setback and, tomorrow's can, and tomorrow can always be better. Bye.